I love cities. And when I came to New York, it was like, I came home to a place I've never been. I really just always loved that, the excitement, the energy. And to me, that's just been a love of mine. This isn't like a series of buildings, Hudson Yards. It's really creating a kind of a lifestyle that people want and doesn't exist everywhere. So it was really trying to bring the best of what everybody really in their mind loves about New York and make it all happen there. And so creating this live, work, play environment. It's like a city within a city, but still connected to the city so you don't feel that you're not in New York. It's New York as you want it to be. Why did you want to build at Hudson Yards? Well, every city has to grow. Nobody wants to displace people. There was no land to grow in Manhattan except putting a platform over the train track. What was interesting was that really turned us on to the whole project was the fact that the city and the state were spending over $4 billion right around that area. That's what attracted me initially. When you see that type of capital expenditures to extend the subway, to build the High Line, to renovate Javits Center and build Hudson River Park. All that money, we're right in the center of that. That's telling me something. When I saw that, that's what really intrigued me to New York. And that's why I believed in New York and took on the job even in the toughest of times. When you look back at it, I bet on New York, people always want to write it off but it's too great a city, there's too many great people here, and too many great things happen here to ever write off the city. You have visions in your mind of when you're looking at your plans and you're selecting materials. You know, you say, hey, that's gonna be great. But then when you see the execution of it, it's exceeded even my expectations. So I really believe that once people get here and they see it's opened, the reactions will be totally different than just looking at a building. And that's how I think you know, why we can outperform this market and why it'll be successful and why we will be building the second phase sooner than later. <laughs>